Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 42 of our Witcher playthrough. My name is Klaus, and welcome to my house. Now, if you recall, last episode, uh, there was some derping around that happened. If you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. At least, like, the last five minutes to watch me just be a total idiot. Um, I thought, because of these dots, that it was around there, and there was some way in. The back door is locked, and, uh, you know, I didn't find, uh it within my mental capacity to maybe check my witcher senses out oh what we can blow away that door with ard huh who would have thunk it i even ran up to that door at one point jeez making me feel so good right now oh we have some footsteps footprints we got some things too Ooh. More creepy houses. Uh, what could you ask for? This is the Witcher, after all. Things are not supposed to be pleasant. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks Ooh. like what I found in the sewer. I think this was a bomb-making factory. Anything interesting over here? Oh. Mm, silver plate. That will probably be good for uh, making ourselves a silver sword at some point. Maybe even some witcher armor, you know? Could be. Silver seems to be the uh, metal of choice. Oh man, look at all these bottles. Someone was having a good time making those bombs. A letter and a bottle. Take that mysterious note. Year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series. Well, this is definitely a door to go through. And uh, I believe this is where we would need to... Uh, need to place it. Oh, are they just telling me? Okay. 1245 to 1254. Hmm. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Me thinks what you be thinking. Maybe they actually have it. Oh yeah. Oh. Secret room. Probably where Stay. Dandelion and his cohorts planned the Wyvern oil. Ah, uh, the Wyvern oil was in the um, was in the bomb itself. Oh, there's just stuff all over this place. The Wild Hunt. Lands of the North. Let's take a look at this note. A letter from Dudu. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Hmm. Footsteps. Not good. Yeah, you're telling me. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. Alright. What's going on down there? Who has entered my home? Extra. And Triss. Oh. Interesting. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb, I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? <laughs> no, just here for the coin. Ah, yep. Mary that Gold happens. playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. 
Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? How is that Beauchelet was? Or whatever the hell he said. That is a crazy word to pronounce the way he said it. Um, so yeah, I guess he wanted to know the runes, but he totally followed me. I don't really want to dig. Let's just get to the point. We thinks it's going to be Mr. Mangi. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Merigo. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Well, Margrave Henkel told me everything. Do we even meet that person? Maybe. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Ah, okay. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. Hmm. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Yeah, I know you, buddy. You're gonna follow this to the very end with me. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. I bet you would. Can't find much else, eh? You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand, even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately, though to my knowledge he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Ah, uh, yeah, I doubt he's gonna say anything, but we can definitely check it out. Doubt Manga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's hmm. our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive with my treasure. Um, I mean, it is all in the past, man. I'm all about that Yennefer right about now. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit at Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell? Ha <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Well, maybe it's your first, but, uh... Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Well... You know... Put yourself in you know my what it shoes. Is. What would you have said? In your shoes, I wouldn't be worrying about what to say to Dijkstra. At all. But we've strayed Good point. from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Trace, and did we gotta do? Gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold. It's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Bye. Alrighty. We'll just make our way over there and why would it seem pointless? Can't say I'm sure exactly what happened there, but uh, it seems seemed pointless. She was in there and then flashed out there. 
then, then she's gone? I don't know. Why don't you just go from the inside, huh? Huh? Ugh, Triss. You confuse me, so... Yeah, I don't really need anything. No discounts, no credit. Above? What? How do we get above? Oh, it's just these... These little stairs. That's silly. Alrighty. We'll just go right here. Oh, it looks like Mr. Radovid. And, uh, what? Midnight, she said, right? Let's do it. Aw, oh, yeah. And it's midnight, and there's still a whole lot of people out. Don't you guys ever sleep? Oh, God. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building, and it does not look good. I believe Maybe it. Use a bit of paint and spackle. I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Hmm. Take these shackles. Put them on me. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get a little frisky. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside <laughs> of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series 2. No such thing as too risky. More or less, that's true. Alrighty. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Manga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Oh, I'm sure I will. Let's, uh, let's do this. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Yeah, this plan is a little crazy. Girl, remember, I can take care of myself. What are so you there's shackles, about? but no chains. The hunters, they won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right. Okay. Hmm. Alright. I'm much more agreeable to that. Whatever. You're disposable, kid. Sorry. She kind of is like a kid from, from our age. I think Vesemir was saying we're almost like a hundred. We ain't no spring chicken, kids. What's the password? What do you want? Here for my reward. On the L4. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Maybe. He's better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Oh my god. <gasps> You're done jesting, Marigold. You're digging your For own good. hole. Put her in a cell. Yeah, I, uh, I gotta talk to Menge. Not so fast. Her manga. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Yeah. Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. 
<laughs> I guess we'll have to rip it out. Um, might know your witches, but you're uh, should at catching them. That's true. Uh, yeah, no ripping gonna be done here. And uh, I do have something to offer Menge. I, I don't know, man. I'm almost just about to drop it and start fighting people. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance. Mm -hmm. For That's from Mega's ear. Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you. Shut your gob, ginger whore. And you spit it out. Where's Eilhart? That's from Menga. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, well then you be screwed. sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Yep. Fine. Grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Yeah, we'll do it. Don't worry. Ah, oh, she was worried about fighting these people. There's not that many guys in here. Yep. Skirp. Oh. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. <sighs> yeah, I've really, uh, you know, I'm not gonna go throwing anybody under the bus here. All right, had enough of this charade. What are you on about? Watch and learn. Mm-hmm. Spread out! It's only a witcher. Wow. have some life. They're not really high level and they're not, uh, you know, super coordinated by any means. But, uh, they got some life on them. Yeah, you're the one that really needs to die here. Now they're starting to fall. Come on. Oh, oh, man, let's uh, let's not die. Let's not die there. Probably getting a little too aggressive, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, my guess is, uh, dude up here has some good, ugh, oh, probably has some good stuff. Ah, hello. It seems like Caleb is probably up in here. Oh, 
Yeah, how you like that? Oh. I'm kind of actually surprised that we don't see a little bit of red or something. Some sort of, um, yeah, she's, she's going to be okay. Don't worry about her, guys. Some sort of, uh, oh, that's locked. Okay. Some sort of uh, evidence of what kind of is going on here. Whoa. Yeah, thanks, Marigold. That was really nice of you. Not like I didn't feel that one. Holy moly. Really not, uh, really not happy with you right now. Oh, we gotta drop something. Uh, 1, 1.3, 1.7, 1.7. Yeah, we're gonna drop you. Is that gonna keep us? Okay, good. We'll just have to pass up all the stuff there. I think that's all of them. That was close. No, it wasn't. Until you tried to say, blow me up. Trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. Yeah, that's we about it. the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. That's what I was looking for earlier when you I'll were down search there fighting. His body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Oh, well, thank you. I bet that's the worst place to look for documents of, you know, somebody's, you know, goings-ons. Obviously something there. Let's look at the, uh, the quest for it. Alright, Caleb. I have new instructions regarding the organization of the next execution. When you're ready to meet, place your holy tome in the, in the drop box located in the column of the Eternal Fire Altar in the southwest corner of the bits. We will meet you at the usual spot. Do not tell anyone where you're going, and bring no one with you. Burn this letter after reading. Yammerlack. Okay, well he obviously doesn't know how to follow instructions, because we read the crap out of that one. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Mm. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. Sounds good. And, uh, let's see. I found a letter. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah. Strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. It is possible. That he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. More or everything. less. Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Alright, I do kind of doubt this key is going to be enough, though. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? <laughs> of something strong, I hope. Oh, it is. Let's get going. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. Okay. That's fine, I guess. There we go. Oh, really? Okay. Cutscene central this is up in where here. We split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Okay. 
I mean, they only slapped you like once. Listen. Maybe twice. There's one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. All right, I'll see you then. But uh, you know, nothing, nothing too fun for you gonna happen. I want to go this way, but I also know it happened the last time that I did something like this. Did not end well for uh, for my health. Okay, yeah, that only took off half my health. No big deal there. Really? Uh. I can't, I can't get out that way. So I did that for nothing? Is that what you're... Is that what you're telling me? Uh -huh. I get to blast through some walls again. You there! Mr. Roven wants a word! Yeah, I believe he does. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Man, Dijkstra just literally has no patience at all. He's following us everywhere. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. We're working on it, asshole. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. <laughs> I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? Not First quite. First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. But I have made them easier. All right, uh... Yeah, what about my reward? He's probably gonna get all pissed off at me, but whatever. What about my reward? Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? More or less. What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. Yeah, stop crying, buddy. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. You I can abused live with us. That. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I, I believe take it. it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion. Nope. None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Sounds good to me. Thanks for your help. I'm not even going to ask you how you help. know. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Okay. Da -dee da -dee da. That guy. That guy. And he only gave us 90 crowns. Acts like we own the world. Ah, you know what? I don't even know exactly where we're going. I guess we can kind of head over yonder. Ah. Oh. That was a that was a fairly decently intense episode. Oh yeah, party around the strumpet. <laughs> a lot of boots and pants going on there. Alrighty, probably should even go looking for an armor at some point. But uh, I'll probably just get us where we're going, and then we can do that in between. Or well, maybe there's one on the way. I think there's one around these parts. Uh. Why did it have us run down this way? 
when we could have just gone across this way. I'm very confused with you right now, game. A real I'm oh, very confused with you. you I don't oh, quite know why you made us go the long scenic route. Ugh. Oh. Ah, uh, the... The pathing is whatever. I probably should have looked at the map immediately. I just kind of started following it blindly, aimlessly. Uh, see, this is probably another stupid way of going around here. Oh no, it's right there. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to leave you guys at the precipice. I'll see you back, uh, back here next time for episode 43. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and have a uh, great night. Wow. I can't I can't talk at all. They must be order. Have a great day, a great night, whatever it is to you. My name is Klaus, you've been at my house, and we'll see you back here next time. Goodbye.